If you look over here, there's actually peeling paint along here and some leaking that came in here. And I think that's from ice dams. Uh, okay, so we'll fix that with a new roof and flashing. How are you gonna fix this? Well, I wanna blow cellulose insulation up there. Now I could drill some holes in the ceiling, but I wanna do any more damage to the plaster. So what I did is I had the roofer leave a small section of the roof off so we can climb in there or stick a hose in there and fill it with insulation. Good. Yeah. Go ahead, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. Frank. So we've rented this uh, insulation machine. Uh, can you tell me a little about how it works? Well, it actually works like a vacuum cleaner in reverse. We're going to load it up. It's going to suck the insulation down through the bottom, and it's going to push it out through the hose up there. So we keep loading it up, and we keep driving it in. Before you know it, we'll have plenty of insulation up there. And how about this? Let's meet with your approval, Tommy. Yep, that's cellulose insulation. It's recycled newspaper and paper, ground up and treated with borate, so it has a fire retardant and an insecticide in it, and has a great R factor. All right, where do you want me? All right, why don't you load the machine? Frank and I will go up and start blowing it in, and uh, we'll try to get about 12 inches, which will give us around an R45. Sounds good. All right, so what I did is I took the hose, and I put a stick on the end of it. Okay. That will allow us to reach in there, way in, and direct the hose around the perimeter, because we'll start tight against the eaves and work our way in, gradually filling it up. All right, Kevin, fire it up. Going in there really good. Fill all those voids up. We're gonna put in more than we want so it'll settle down. You can see the studs right there. We're blowing it right down there, so that's a good thing. Okay. You know, the more insulation we get in there, the more money you're going to save on your heating and cooling bill. Great. Frank, there you go. Now the good thing is that you had about six inches of fiberglass insulation in your existing attic. We added about eight inches on top of it. So you're gonna have more than enough insulation to keep the snow melting on the roof and the ice dams from forming. That's good. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.